a scam that's become so normalized that we don't even realize it's a scam anymore. Bible colleges and seminaries. Now, to be clear, I don't think they're intentionally scamming. However, I believe their model is untenable and even harmful in many ways because Bible college and seminary leaves you with two things, debt and arrogance. Rick Warren said it takes 10 years of local church pastoring to lose the arrogance you received in seminary. Otherwise, you likely won't lose it. Concerning the topic of debt, the economic model is outdated. A kid I knew was paying $35,000 for Bible college a year. Now that's fine for like lawyer, doctor or something, but, but when it comes to church ministry, there's no way he's paying that off. I mean, you're asking these kids to go into massive debt if they have a desire to do church ministry. I've been in ministry over 20 years and all the ministries I've been a part of never paid a living wage. Churches just don't pay well. So if you don't have the resources for Bible college or seminary, then you are excluded. Then what do we do? First of all, get a money-making skill from a trade school or a college degree that can increase your wealth. While you're doing that, I highly recommend getting an internship or residency at a church you would love to be a part of. If the church doesn't have one, ask if they can start one. A church I was a part of created an experience for me when I was looking around at internships and residencies. Next, you can get all the theological knowledge you need and then some from books, podcasts, YouTube, TikToks. You'll learn way more than you would ever learn in a classroom setting. And finally, think for yourself, develop your own model for ministry because the one you would have got from university is already outdated. Not okay, all I want and I pray, all I need are some better days.